no matter what you want to buy. You'll find it all on the hub. The SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Fashion is just a way to express yourself. It's a way for you to sort of give a message to someone else. You know, this is how I feel today. This is how you should deal with me because this is how I look. It's just, it's just a way of expressing yourself. Yeah, that's how I see fashion. Hi, Danny TV. My name is Nina Evans Anfom in Accra, Ghana. Welcome to my Fashion Insider. When I started Mina Evans, um, there weren't that many fashion designers here in Ghana. I mean, there were a couple, but there weren't a lot of people that were seriously taking it as a business, trying to build a brand, trying to build a following, um, trying to set international standards or international standards quality-wise, you know, clothing and stuff like that. So I just thought that there must be, well, I, I thought that I could fill in the gap of there being someone that could um, have clothes that could resonate with an international woman, with an African woman, and something that could play around with all the aesthetics that we have in Africa and just make, make the clothes appealing for anyone around the world. So that's basically what I set out to do. The Mina Evans woman is an international woman, somebody who is confident with herself, confident with her clothes, and someone who isn't afraid to be a little outlandish, to try something new. Um, someone who can fit in anywhere in the world and get compliments on her outfit. That's really who the Mina Evans woman is. Oh, there's always a lot of challenges when you're starting up a business. We had, of course, there's always funding. Um, you're fresh out of internship or you're fresh out of uni and you want to start this brand. You don't realize how expensive running a fashion brand is. Um, there's also the um, skilled labor. To find labor that is that, that will sew to the quality that you have been taught. You know, in Ghana we saw a certain way, or in Africa we saw a certain way. So for you to come in, you know, as a young person and say, well, this is, this is how it should be done. It, it doesn't always sit, you know, properly. People are always a bit, who do you think you are? But um, eventually, those who are willing to learn will learn. And those who share your, your vision will stay. And, <clears throat> yeah, and then after, after skilled labor, those are my main challenges really and then also finding space to work in and also fabrics you know getting fabrics here is a bit challenging sometimes because you have to deal with the issue of stocking you go to one shop you like something you want more of it you can't get more but then the clients have seen pictures of this and they want that exact same thing you know there's there's always that and I think another main issue for me was the mindset of of, 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 of the people, you know, of Ghana. We are a nation that is very used to having things custom made or having tailors that you can just take a picture to and say, well, I want this dress, copy this dress for me. They're not, they weren't, well, I mean, now it's getting better, but they weren't really used to, this is my collection, we can tweak, we can do this, or I can work on something with you personally. It's always just, can you do this? Can you copy this dress for me? And when you when you're like no i don't do that then it's like okay <laughs> you know but you know slowly things are getting better you know there are a lot of designers springing up as well so people are getting more used to the idea of a designer well as a designer everything inspires me everything and anything could inspire me um i 
I mean, it sounds a bit cliche, but when I sleep, I sleep with my notebook beside me because it's not that I dream of things, but you're in bed and you're thinking, you know, just before you fall asleep, something might cross your mind and you just have to sketch it quickly. Um, you could be driving in the car. That's why I try, I try not to sleep in the car as much as possible because anything could, could just trigger. Um, but generally, you know, when I'm online, if I see anything I like, I pull it. If I see something that... I think it's interesting, maybe not even clothes or it could be nature, you know, I save it. I always go through the pictures on my laptop, something always triggers and the next thing I know it's a collection. Creativity on demand. It's really hard but like I said, I have loads of, of I'm a very visual person, you're not going to find too much music on my laptop. You're not gonna find, you know, a lot of documents really on my personal laptop. You will find a lot of pictures. Um, sometimes if I save something and something does trigger, I keep it. So maybe it won't be on this collection, it'll be on the next collection. But then what I do with my collections, I always try to have a, a, um, a different feature or a different detail. You know, for example, with, we had this fringe bead detailing that we do. The next collection, we had these twisted pleats that we do because I saw a picture of some beach chairs that I liked. And then after that, we had the butterflies and then we had the leaves. It's, it's always just in the back of my mind, you know. Um, so that's how I deal with creativity on demand. But other than that, you just, you just have to lock yourself down. You know, when it's crunch time, it's crunch time. So you just have to lock yourself down and get it done. <laughs> I think that African fashion right now, um, there's, there's, there's a lot of attention on African fashion. People are interested in the color, people are interested in our African prints. Um, what I believe though is that a trend is a trend. It doesn't stay for too long or it goes and comes back around. So, personally, I think sometimes African print makes designers a bit lazy because we are so reliant on it, especially because it's so hot right now. What I believe is that Africa is full of different textiles and different aesthetics and different um, ornaments and embellishments. So why not expand on that? Why does it only have to be African print? Um, but apart from that, color-wise, I believe color will always be trending. <laughs> with working with stylists, I would say sometimes they are because you, as a designer, have, it's, it's like your collection is your baby. You have firm idea of what you want and you're pretty set but then for someone else to come in and say oh well let's look at it from this point you might then get a bit why are you trying to mess with my flow you know but it's good to have outside um an outside opinion and also i only really work with one stylist company here in ghana i work with house of crema and we've been friends best friends since high school so we are sort of on the same level taste wise and We've never really had clashes. We've never really had clashes. So everything just works, it flows. My advice to anyone who wants to get into fashion is to know your market, know who your target market is, know where they shop, know where they holiday, know where they eat dinner, because then you know what they need and what they want. And also to have a mentor, it helps. And also to have someone who is business minded on your team, because in fashion school, I keep saying that we always are just a bunch of creative people who just want to make clothes but we are not we don't have access to the business side of fashion so if you have someone who's business savvy on your team then it helps as well next 10 years of african fashion i see people embracing ready to wear a lot more than they are right now um, i see more designers with more flagship stores. I see bigger and um, I see bigger fashion weeks. Fashion weeks that have more weight to them and fewer fashion weeks as well because right now everybody has a fashion week it seems. But yeah, 
Um, and I, I just see us, you know, going international, the quality of stuff is international level. Some, we can compete with the Western world. That's what I see. Hi guys, if you just enjoyed watching that video and you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment, lifestyle and more from inside Africa, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now? And if you want to keep on watching videos, then just simply hit the more videos button.